Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. My name is Ron. Well, I know what you're thinking. I'm going to build a Nova. Well, you're close. This is a Hot Wheels Chevrolet SS, but it's actually a South American version called the Opala. Looks remarkably like a Nova. And when I picked this up out of a, I believe it was a quarter box, that's what I thought it was. But uh, doing a little investigation, I discovered that uh, that was not, in fact, what it was. So, this is our project. We're going to tear it down, blow it apart, look at the pieces and parts, and going to see what we can do with this little thing. So, everybody, please stay tuned. All right, <clears throat> we got our little Chevrolet SS Opala all blown apart. Two posts, I already drilled them and tapped them for 256 screws. You know, with a little bit of switching around on the tail of this thing, it could almost be built to look like a Nova, but it's a little bit short. So we're gonna go with the Opala. Glass is in pretty good shape. It'll clean up pretty good. A little scuffed here and there, but polish that up and a dip in the pledge. A little bare bones interior, but it is what it is. Not terrible. A little floor shift and the emergency brake and the requisite high pan steering wheel. Still in pretty good shape. Nice chrome plastic base. Chevrolet SS, there it is, Chevrolet SS, all right, well, it looks a lot like a 69 or 70 Nova, but I believe it's a 74 Opala, and we got our wheels, which are in really good shape, but we're going to go a little different route with those, so let's go ahead and get that casting in the stripper. Get everything else cleaned up, get the chrome off the base, and we'll get this build going. Everybody, please stay tuned.
All right, before we get to the reveal, let's take a moment and look back at where we started. This Chevrolet SS Opala, South American Nova. <laughs> let's go ahead and get to the reveal, and we will see how this thing came out. So everybody, please stay tuned. All right, we've wrapped up our little Hot Wheels S Chevrolet SS project. Or uh, what it actually is, is uh, the, it's a uh, car, the mid-sized car that was sold in South America under the Chevrolet brand and called the Opala. This was actually modeled after the 1974 Opala. And since it was a 70s, I thought I would continue that 70s vibe and dress it up like a 74 Nova or 69 to 74 Nova, somewhere in there. I gave it the uh, black stripes on the hood, blacked out the rear panel and gave it a little uh, SS stripe down the uh, rocker panels. We uh, painted it the uh, gloss, Rust-Oleum Gloss Cranberry, and then I went over the top of that with a the dupli Duplicolor color Clear Effects, which gives it a, a really beautiful kind of metallic look, and then a few coats of uh, clear after that. Really makes it shine. We uh, re-chromed the but rear bumpers, the front bumpers, the grill, and then came back in and detailed the headlights, 
tail lights and the front turn signals as well as the door handles and to uh, continue with that 70s vibe I decided to uh, put on a set of my custom 3d printed centerline style wheels and 12 millimeter in the back and 10 in the front I went ahead and detailed out the base just a little bit but uh, it's a beautiful little car and this little sucker fought me all the way. What you're looking at is the final product of three paint jobs. The first one was a total failure. Uh, the second one got as far as clear coat and it all wrinkled up like an apple that had been left in the sun for about a month. And this one finally worked. So. You know, sometimes uh, paint is our biggest enemy and our biggest friend. This particular time, it was an enemy twice and a friend in the end. I also detailed the interior just a little bit, did a little chrome on the dash and the uh, console. I uh, also hit the windshield wipers and the hood pins as well. Uh, apparently, the Opala hood is a rear opening hood. <laughs> anyway. It's a sweet little car and looks an awful lot like a Nova unless you look at a real Opala and you realize it's uh, more the size more the size of an Opal Cadet, I think. <laughs> anyway, it's a beautiful little car and I'm very happy with how it came out. And I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and if you're not currently a subscriber, I hope you will. And when you subscribe, be sure you ring the bell for notification of future videos. And be sure you tell you, uh, share with your friends. Well, thanks again for watching. And uh, hoping, hoping you're having a blessed holiday season. And I will see you in the next.